We are back with my year 2017 for July and this month we are celebrating our loved ones. Now I have been collecting different pieces and parts from um, loved ones who have passed away for a long time actually. I've kind of always done that and um, sometimes when they're alive I try to get them to let me scan things like photographs. Um, that being said, I have a large collection of things, mostly from my Italian grandmother, and I am going to share a few of those things with you here in just a second. We're going to thread this needle because we're going to need it, and I'm going to use green thread. Why? I don't know. I just felt like green. It's my friend Jerry Bellini's favorite color, and my grandmother, who we're going to sort of celebrate right now loved her garden and so green is kind of an appropriate color. I'm gonna thread it through and then double knot it. There we go. Got my scissors. Now I made some of these little patches on canvas with messy sewing and I'm not sure if at the time you're seeing this you have seen the video for this yet or not if it's aired on my YouTube channel it will be airing on the YouTube channel but as of right now it may not be out yet but never fear it will come out but if you know how to sew I think you could figure it out they're pretty easy right they're literally scraps of fabric so we're gonna I have a drawer full of them and ones that I've doodled on with sharpies and stuff like that so, but I think I, I want to take one of these plain ones, and I kind of, I kind of like this one. And we're going to use it. I've got a couple of pieces of clear plastic packaging, again, that I've doodled on with Sharpies and alcohol. This was in another video that I did for my year 2017. If you want to know the exact video and the link, you really should be part of the group, because I do think it actually was a live broadcast in the group only. The link for the group is in the video description here, so on YouTube, so check it out, along with my other group, uh, if you want to support my channel by shopping in the Etsy shop, or just sending me a tip, uh, send me happy mail, all that stuff is in the description, so check it out. Um, Alright, that being said, I think that I might want to use a piece of this. When my grandmother passed, we found all kinds of kooky stuff, evidently she never threw anything away. Um, one of the things that I found, and I just kept, and it's just been on my desk for a while, are these four aces plastic party picks It originally had 130 in it and it's pretty full I don't think it has 130 uh, for cocktails hors d'oeuvres washable reusable it's very possible knowing my grandmother that she washed them but I have the original container right and I have a couple of these actually so we're gonna I think use one of these I'm gonna pick this one right here am I maybe not wait I don't know. There's some in here that have hearts on them because you know it's a playing card set. Let's do the pink one. Let's see if we do use this. How does that look? There's a turquoise one. Let's use a turquoise one. All right. I'm going to zoom in because you're going to need to see this in just a second. Okay. So the other thing that I have is my grandmother, evidently, she's very Catholic, and um, evidently she used to make rosaries, which I did not know until she, after she passed away. At least I don't remember knowing that. And I have two very full boxes of rosary making supplies that came out of her stash of stuff, including medallions and beads and all sorts of things. So we are going to go through here and let's pick a few things. And some of her uh, boxes that I got this stuff in, they had all sorts of random things. Like this is actually a keychain with a cross on the front. And on the back it says, travel prayerfully, carefully. And that was in with all of her Christian medallions and everything. Uh, she just, I don't know. There was kind of no rhyme or reason for the way she had things organized. 
my aunt says that's because towards the end of her life she had some dementia and there were some issues there. Um, but I want to make a little remembrance piece. I kind of like this one. I'm actually going to need my wire cutters. So I'm going to grab my thing. I grabbed everything except the wire cutters. So maybe you have a stash of old jewelry. Um, it, it doesn't have to be somebody who's passed. Maybe it's somebody who's living and there's a stash of their old jewelry. Um, or she's got some things, um, or he, that they're just getting rid of or they don't care for anymore. Um, see what they have. I just found this. This is like a, a ring thing. It's meant for praying with. I don't know actually how you use it, but... Ooh, that might be interesting on there. Yeah, that might be interesting on there. And there's all these little booklets that have or had um, medallions in them. That one actually is missing its medallion. This one has it though. I have another whole box. That's just box one. This is box two. <laughs> you know, we always uh, thought my grandmother's house was so neat and clean and it was. She had everything hidden in the closet. God love her, but yeah, it was just hiding. Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. And I don't know what that little pin is from, but it's it's in here. So we're going to gather a few bits and pieces, and I think I've got enough to choose from now. I think we're going to go with this. And we're going to actually, I could glue them and staple them. You all know that I've, I've done that in the past. We're going to actually sew them on. So this is the part we're going to, oop, where are we? There we are. So I'm going to grab my needle and thread. You could glue it, you could staple it, you don't have to sew it on. My grandmother loved to sew and she knew how to knit and crochet and all of that stuff. Actually both my grandmothers could sew. Although I don't think my mom's mom really enjoyed it very much. And I'm going to, oops. going to do a few stitches around in a few places at least twice this is simple stitches I'm not doing anything complicated okay these pliers are making me crazy let's put them over there And I don't care if the back of it is messy. My grandmother would have a heart attack if she heard me say that. Um, <laughs> as I'm saying it, I'm thinking of her. Um, I don't care, though, if it's messy because I'm going to glue it down into my journal. So, um, Or, you know, you could make these as um, little... I have a stash of little... I call them halfway art, little halfway art embellishments that I just keep them around and I attach them to journal covers, tags... Um, is anything like that. So you could make a stash of these and just have them around knowing that you're going to glue it down to something so it doesn't really matter what the back lo looks like. If you're a proper seamstress though um, and you're like my grandmother, you're having a conniption fit about that. So I do kind of like the idea of putting some of this clear plastic on here, maybe. I don't know now. I was initially going to put some of the clear plastic on there. I was going to trim it and now I'm like kind of wondering if I don't even want to trim it. Because maybe I want to just leave it like that. Yeah, I think I do. I do think I'm going to staple the plastic on because it's easier to do. So I do have my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. The only question is, do I put it on top of the little finger ring thing or on the bottom? Do I have another one of those finger ring things? You know, anything is possible. That's crap, I just leaved everything. Let's see, let me dig around. 
more medallions than, you know, you could shake a stick at. It doesn't look like there's another one in here. There are some of these little bead, plastic beads, though. I do want to get some of these out. Okay. <coughs> We're still trying to decide on this, right? So I'm going to put it above, I'm going to staple it on, yep, and we're going to take the toothpick and I'm going to poke a hole up through everything. like with the other part to do it at least twice. Okay. So then I'm going to come up here just below where I just stitched it. Oops. There we go. I'm going to grab one of my little beads. Yep. Try to hold it straight. So you could take, maybe um, you have their old earrings or you have old brooches or, you know, maybe it's your grandfather and you have a bunch of old um, tie pins or cufflinks. Think about taking them apart and seeing how you can use them to make some little pieces of halfway art to use in your journal or use on your... artwork somehow on tags or something. Okay, so then I'm going to come back up. I was going to put five, but I think I like the idea of three. And we're going to secure the bottom part of this toothpick. Pushing through the plastic is challenging, just FYI. <laughs> but I really want to sew it, so. Okay, I do think now I'm going to tie this off. My grandmother would be horrified how back, how messy the back of this looks. She would just be uh, beside herself. Sorry, Grandma. Sorry, Nona. All right. Put those back. So we have this little weird pin thing. I think I want to stick on here. It has a straight pin. It evidently used to pin into garments or something. I don't know. It's weird. But I think I want to just... I think we're going to just glue it on. Can you... Yeah, you can see. So let's grab some glue. The a Aileen's um, Turbo Tacky should not only work well, but it should dry pretty quickly. So let's put a healthy dollop of that on the back and stick it down. There we go. We're going to set that kind of aside for just a minute. And I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to share something else with you all that I have from the same grandmother. These are two of her sewing boxes or miscellaneous boxes. So I want to find a little piece of something to put in the back of that. She used to do a lot of um, crocheting and handmade lace. Look at this little precious little 
sm small teeny tiny Bible that was in her stuff. Miniature prayer book. I have one of her handkerchiefs. She was she never went anywhere without a handkerchief. I have this weird. I think it's a scapular actually. I shouldn't say it's weird because I do think it's a scapular. But it's only part of one. I don't think what I want is the knot box. I think it's in this bigger one. Yep. Of course, there's some things I've been adding to the box. So the kids, I love minions. The kids got me a couple of Christmases ago some minion cards, so they're in here. And I have little pieces of her. Now I don't know if she made these or if my great grandmother did. They both made lay handmade lace, and it honestly it could have come from either one. I like this one. Yep. How precious is that going to be on there? Let's put this back. They, these live on my desk, and every now and then I use a piece of them or add something to them. Okay. How precious is that going to look in my journal? Oh, I love it. Okay. Staple it. I think I want to just stitch it on. And I might do both. I can't see what I'm doing because I took my glasses off. <laughs> Let's zoom in. Okay. Oh, there we go. Now I can see. Seeing is helpful. <laughs> I don't want it wrapped around the cross, so it's definitely wrapped around. So let's unwrap it, shall we? I don't know why it's being so pers persnickety. That's a word, right? Persnickety? There we go. We might need to just staple it because it's not wanting to be sewn. That's interesting. piece of thread back there. That's okay. <coughs> Oops. All right, so let's just staple it because that's going to be easier. How cute is that going to be? If you're going to staple it together, just, you know, put a couple staples. Have it be intentionally messy. So how cute is that little piece of halfway art? Now, I so I really want you to um, keep doing these little pieces of halfway art. I want you to expand what you're doing, and I want you to, you know, put random various bits together. Make these cute little pieces, um, whether you're using um, pieces of family and member and loved ones that you want to remember. Maybe you're a favorite pets passed away but you have their dog tags and you want to add do one of these little pieces with their tags on it that would be a really cute piece of remembrance art um, and you can add it to your journal you can add it to the front of um, a canvas you can add it to a photo album anything like that so have fun with this I am going to add mine to my journal I'm going to put it right in the front here right there and we're going to use that where's that turbo tacky and I'm going to put it under some heavy weight 
so that it really sticks down really well and doesn't come off. So the other kind of tip I want to tell you guys is when you're working on pieces like that and you need to have weigh them down while they dry. So I use these and these are leftover ends of old barbells that my sister actually was getting rid of and I said, um, can I have those? And they work great for this. Let's zoom out just a little bit so you can see. They work great for this, so I have a whole bunch of them. So that's one way to celebrate your loved ones in your art this month. I hope you have fun with it. I go, hope it gives you some ideas of what you can do. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe join the My Year 2017 Facebook group so you can see more art like this and see what the other teachers are doing. All right, that's it, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.